Whoa, whoa, holy crap! What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Osiris New Dawn. This is a game that I've been looking forward to, courtesy of Reverb Games. I also have multiple codes for giveaway for you guys to potentially get your hands on this game. Check out the Gleam link in the description below to find out how. So guys, this game is a Matt Damon simulator basically. You're on, a you're on another planet and essentially the story behind the game is this. You are exploring for uh, distant planets that could support human life and your spaceship essentially, uh, something fails on it, you come on a light warp, you're, you're essentially forced to land on a planet, the closest planet, and it's this one. And so you gotta try to survive. It's a survival game. Crafting, researching, new technologies. There's multiplayer colonization where you can work as a team to build a colony. Um, so there's an online and offline mode, single player as you can see. Exploring this massive planet, intense alien fights, and so much more. I'm so excited to get into this. I really have no idea. I don't know anything about it other than what I just told you. And so I'm really excited to get in. Your United Nations of Earth is who sent me on this exploration. And uh, you have, looks like two factions you can choose here. So this will be interesting. Maybe you can have like warring factions. Outlanders are a band of space pirates who tr treat space as an ungoverned lawless territory. It's gotta be an outlander, come on! So as you can see, there's also multiple classes. You have scientists, marine, engineer, ranger. These things will probably become available once it goes live, okay? So these things are probably going to be coming, and there's going to be a lot of changes. So what you see here might not be the final product, all right? So currently only scientists is avail available. They run this special technology industry. If you want to focus on spacecraft and rockets, then this is your calling. Marines, great in mowing down unsuspecting victims. Tank on ecstasy. While other players frolic through forests and tundras like rabbits in a garden and swoop in and bam, now they're dead. Semper Fi. Uh, engineer, craft vehicles and structures better and faster. So you have different classes. They're probably going to matter. I think you can, everybody can craft certain things, but maybe certain classes do better at certain things. And then rangers are the explorers and scavenging specialists. So currently scientists is all that's available. You can also customize your guy. Okay, so here's single player campaign. Proteus 2. Single player is perfect for practicing and learning your character tools and abilities before jumping into the live universe. Your character and progress will be saved and you can continue from where you left off. Single player is essentially the full campaign, but you will be all alone. You can also create your you can also create your universe rules by adjusting these settings, all these settings. So there's a bunch of stuff. And aliens infested? Holy crap. Alien attack damage. Let's uh dangerous. Infested. Let's let's lower it down. Let's make everything kind of neutral. Um just to kind of have a little bit better time. Third moon of Theseus Prime, day one. Dude, I'm so excited. This is, oh my gosh, guys, I am so excited. Soup Breach, survival kit, what the heck, drone. Performing system diagnostics, use patch tape to fix breach. So three, hey, we did it. All right. Oh, we got third person too, which is interesting. Third person apparently is pretty uh, cool for this game. I wonder, can I change the shoulder though? Let's stay in first person. I think it'll be easy. We got a repair tool, a chisel. We got our map. That's kind of cool. All right, so let's get, we got to find, here's a survival kit. F open survival kit, mission. We got potatoes, Matt Damon, baby. Steamed carrot, water, that's important. Can I just click, double click? Nope. Water, that's important big time. We got bandage. We need to find more of that tape, I think. That's going to be useful. And med kit. So uh, bandage heals hit points, can be used while equipped or straight from inventory. Um, so I could put this in different slots. Um, we got one tape left. Let's put the map in eight. I can't move it. Okay, I can't move this. Apparently. Heal equip. Can I equip that? No. Empty equip slots available. Oh, so you have like specific amount there, okay. I could have just hit take all. Outlanders colony, 99% hover fuel, water, flashlight, battery. We got a bunch of different things here. Okay, inflatable dome kit. So there's a, whoa, what the heck? This is owned by me. 
A, stay, follow, flank, patrol, and repair. Let's have him follow me. Okay. Pick that up. Okay, added one inflatable dome kit. Find ammo box. Okay, where is the ammo box, I wonder? Doesn't show anything on the map. Okay, come, come on, man. Oh, there it is over here. Oh, you know what? Let's look at controls for a second because I think it's going to be... Um, okay, I don't have controls. wonder... Oh, there's our jetpack space. Sweet, should have guessed. Dude, all right. Oh, ammo box. Holy crap, we got a pistol, assault rifle, assault rifle max. Let's put the duct tape in here. Dude, we got an assault rifle. We got some mags. That's going to come in handy when fighting... Uh, fighting things. Small and light fires a charge blast and recharges automatically. Does not require additional ammo. What? Dude, sweet. Let's check it out. Whoa, that's awesome. Sweet. Build inflatable dome is our next thing. Holy smokes. Look at this. We can see that planet. It's amazing. There's lots of shiny things over there. Look at that shiny stuff. Shiny stuff over there. It looks like there's ore. You can. I think you can have this drone... Can you have this drone mine? You can. Ha I think there's a, a drone you can build or something that can mine. Small location. We're pretty close to it still. Um, there's yeah. I think that's ore over there. Okay. Yeah. This is big ore. So let's go over here. Maybe. First of all, let's go. Let's explore a little bit. How fast is this drone? He's pretty quick. So that's uh my speed, my uh, endurance there, my O2, my O2. And it recharges. Cool. So I don't have to worry about that. We got, looks like we got temperature, PSI, hydrogen, nitrogen, health, suit. Nice. You can see like different stats and stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited about this. And I do have, I think I have all of the settings on max too. And uh, wait, a dirty lens? Is that like, ah, oh, that's better. There we go. Don't like the dirty lens. I think it looks cool. It adds a cool effect, but honestly, so we got iron. Can we just, I can probably just mine this like this, huh? Whoa. Nice. Uh, uh, okay. Either I have like insane strength or I, uh, or, uh, they need to work on that a little bit. That seems crazy. <laughs> I, you know, one thing I really like is like, okay, here's my inventory. 25 out of 50 iron. Do I have weight? I have weight. 48 out of 80. 60.3% weight capacity. What is that over there? What the heck is that? So one thing, uh... I think that... Yeah, they definitely need to work on that. That seems crazy. I could just... I could just fight like that. Okay, watch this. Look at this. See how it's like... It's kind of like, uh... V virtual reality. With the HUD display. See how that iron... The little thing pops up. Like, look at that. That's so cool. I like that. It shows you the weight and everything. Um, I really hope... Man, I think people are going to love this game. We, we haven't even scratched the surface yet, but I mean, look look at how much there is already. Look at how big this planet is. Holy crap. Let's go over here by this... There's like shiny things down there. You see those things? They almost look like elect electric nodes or something. Let's run. Ezekiel Crater. We got O2. We can hover. Nice. Whoa, whoa! Holy crap! Oh my gosh! We just got killed by a sandworm! So that's how it's gonna be, huh? That's how it's gonna be did I just lose everything wait a minute can I go back and get my stuff what the I couldn't dodge it it was so big I thought I could get out of the way I didn't know what it was at first I thought <laughs> oh my gosh that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I really hope I can get my stuff back. I had everything that I needed. 
Suit temperature was pretty high there. My O2 got pretty low. Can I get my stuff back? There's my drone. I mean, I lost the gun and everything. It did eat me. So, that's a thing, apparently. How am I supposed to see that thing coming? It looks like my pack, there's a pack there. It looks like all my stuff's still there. Okay. Owned by me. Oh gosh, I'm so freaking nervous, man. Sci Outlander scientist deceased. Take all. Sweet. Ah, I'm really con I'm really concerned. I'm really concerned right now. Come on, man, follow me. Is that just a random occurrence, or is that in this area? Because if it's in this area, I don't want to be here. That's for sure. What? What is this? Oh my gosh! What the heck, dude? That seems crazy. That's the type of thing we have to deal with in this game. Giant sandworms. Mm, seems about right. And I don't know if there's a way. I can't kill it with this gun. And there's no way. So, question is, what's all that over there? And apparently, too, I can listen for the music. The ambient music kind of lets you know when something is coming that can kill you. So I want to go over here. But if you can see, there's not really, it doesn't look like there's much over here. But I do want to explore before we start building a base or something. Now, is that my stamina down there at the very bottom, that big bar? How in the heck, dude? How am I supposed to, there's like floating rocks and stuff. How am I supposed to avoid that thing? Suit temp is going up when I'm running like this. And it just came right at me, too. I feel, I don't think that that, I think it, like, actually attacked me. What's with this drone? The blue line. I don't know what the blue line means. This is amazing, man. Freaking giant sandworm coming at me. This is so cool. I'm, I'm very skeptical of everything now. A giant sandworm? Also, is every does everyone start? Everyone starts in the same place. It's a campaign, right? Should everyone should start in the same place? Whoa, whoa! Don't do that. Okay, let's go over here and maybe build this dome and see what that's like. I kind of wanted to go by the ore, but I also don't want to go. I also don't want to get killed by a sandworm again. I feel like that stuff that was in the distance was ore, even though it looked like something else. And is there any, like, real significance? Alright. The music is getting intense. Why? Why? What's happening? <laughs> What's happening? There's really nothing over here. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get up high and we're gonna look. Why was that music so intense right there? It scared the crap out of me. I think that's ore over there, so I do wanna head this way if I can. I wonder, like, I wonder where everything is. Like, is there anything? I mean, I can start building a colony. I can start building uh, here. If I want to but I also like this planet is so gigantic what if it rewards you for w going further further away from your okay I definitely think that's endurance down or stamina down there the the problem is is that that sandworm came from over there and that's where the ore is and so I'm very very skeptical of going over there but I think we're gonna go over there just to see what's over there and guys this my gosh I see so some dirt some dust flying, it freaked me out. And, uh, guys, 
there is like a bunch of alien life. Uh, I think on this planet. I can't be certain. But I, I've seen like Slip's video. And there's tons of stuff all over the place. But perhaps maybe it's not as intense because I took it down a little bit. And maybe that would make it more interesting. So I wonder if I can tweak that again. I bet I can't, unfortunately. Maybe I should have left it where it was. Default settings. Infested area. Infested life. I might do it. I might I might I might do it. Since we haven't really got that far into it. I might redo it just so I can have more alien life. There's something right there! Parasite! What is that thing? Oh! Oh gosh! I can't avoid it! No! Dude, you can't avoid the thing! It's so big and it moved when I moved! Are you kidding right now? My gosh, dude. Would you like to continue? No, I'm gonna reset this and we're gonna start over. Dude, the freaking, the freaking sandworm. Are you kidding me? You can't, you can't avoid that thing. How you, like, you're dead. Stay away from the craters, apparently. Look, we're in a different area now. Cool. All right. Oh, yeah. Three patch tape. Let's do it. So we didn't really do, I mean, we didn't really get, get that far, but that's okay. We're gonna take all that stuff. Get our ammo box. Okay, here we go. All right, so now we're, now we're rolling, guys. Let's take it all. Now we're rolling. And, uh, look, let's look for some ore. And if we find some good ore, there's some ore right over here. Oh, that actually looks different. That type of, oh, what the heck is that? You guys, was this a mistake? Was this a mistake with the infested? Now I have things like that? Oh my gosh. How about you, uh, you follow me. I might have you, what is the command for you to, T? T is command, to, oh my gosh, what is that thing? What the heck, dude? There's some other dinosaur looking bird thing over there. Oh my gosh, this was a mistake. I want to build right over here because it looks like we have mo Oh my gosh, look at all the ore. Yes, this is a good spot. What is this? So what's this black stuff, I wonder? Let's check out the black stuff. Now oh, there's just these massive creatures? This is a mistake, I think. <laughs> Definitely a mistake. Okay. What is this? Aluminum. This is good, man. There's so much stuff over here. I'm gonna collect all this. I'm sure this is gonna be useful for building something. Nice, okay, so more aluminum. I feel like that's very important. So we got aluminum, we got iron, we got all kinds of ore. Let's uh, check out this area over here and see what's over here. Oh my gosh. Skeliopod? What is that thing? What is it? How do you craft in this game? It's kind of a nice area. Oh my gosh. Here it comes. What is this? Dude, droid. You you annihilated that thing, droid. Thank you. Let's go see what it has on it. If we can avoid this big giant thing. That thing looks like it's going to kill me, whatever that is. That does not look good. And this thing is still moving here. Saving profile progress. Nice. I like that. Added one alien meat to backpack. Yo, Joy, do you see this thing coming? Do you see that thing over there? What is that thing? I want to find out what the name of it is. Let's look at it. What is it? Should I shoot it? Oh my gosh. Crab monster. Young crab monster. So that means that there's old crab monsters. <laughs> Bigger crabs. Dude, this gun is OP. But we only ha we have a certain amount of ammo. So we got to be very careful. Oh, oh. Look at it. Five alien meat. Can I cook it and eat it? Okay, let's go build the, let's go build the thing. I'll buy all the, all the, uh, ores. Oh my gosh. What? There's another one. Here it comes. It's coming. Drone! 
It's getting attacked by the drone! We got it. Drone, are you okay? Freaking drone, dude. Where did it even come from? I feel like it just came out of nowhere. This looks like a nice big open area where we can build this inflatable dome thing and see everything around us. Oh, dude, look at that. Look at that. Pers that. Oh, look. Okay. Oh, okay. So some things aren't quite worked out yet. Okay, so we let's build um, build this. Oh, cool. Confirm build. Can I build this location? It's overlapping with another object. What? Okay, here we go. Hold action button longer. Nice. First habitat. Our first base. Sweet. Matt Damon would be proud. So now I can go in here and I can save at this bed. And we get 25 health and save game progress. So it's saving. 4 minutes and 54 seconds to save. Action is replenishing. Wow, guys, this is awesome. This game is going to be sweet. Search for minerals to build forge. So now i got to build a forge. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Join me for the next one because we're definitely going to be doing more of these. Um, let's open up our mission log. Search for the planet for the right materials to start building a forge utility. The forge is an outdoor crafting table that can be used to build more complex materials that are needed to expand your base to more useful and fortified settlement. Navigate to the utilities tab inside the character menu to view the build requirements. Okay, let's look at this before we end this. Forge utility. We need plutonium. Holy crap! Dust storm. That did not look good. Okay, let's see. Um... Okay, so for this we needed we need iron, titanium, and plutonium. Yo, didn't we have iron? Oh, I didn't mine in the iron yet. Okay, well, let's see. Is there storage depository? This is probably the a uh, uh, a very important thing. So we actually have place to build things. Let's go. Actually, how is the dust storm? Is it clearing up? Is anything happening? Does anything happen to me in a dust storm? It doesn't look like it. I also don't want to venture too far because I don't know if it actually does damage me or something. It might actually damage my suit. I don't know. We can try. Find out the hard way. So we need iron. 20 iron. Okay, let's see. N temperature's not changing. Anything's Nothing's changing. I also can't see any... If any enemies are around. So that could be an issue. We gotta mine the iron. And then we can make a depository. Because that's gonna be... I can just click the pickup too. I don't have to hit F. What up drone? Thank you for following me. Totally forgot you were gonna be coming with me. I'm very glad you're on this journey with me. Because I need you. There's some alien thing over here. Skeletopod. Level 2 reached. What did that say? Melee increased? Cumbered. Backpack at 105%. Can I have you, uh... Can I... 8 out of 50. Can I drop... Oh, we got 50 out of 50. We got so much iron. Actually, okay, so where's my base at? There it is. There's my dome. So we can make the depository. And I can actually... I think I can build a de depository. And the drone can actually mine for me. Or maybe it's not this drone, but another drone I can make or something. Okay, so let's build this thing. Right here. Uh, maybe. Holy crap. Cancel the build. This freaking skeletopod thing is coming at me. Protect me, drone! You did it! Okay. Utilities. Depository. Where can I build this thing? Here we go. Okay. Build it. And then we can start depositing things in here. And that way, I don't have to worry about constantly having suit problems. Alright. Open depository. Let's put all the iron in here. 
and then the aluminum, the alien meat, and I think we're good. So how do I tell when I need to eat? Does it show me that? Maybe it doesn't work at the current moment? Um, let's see, light weapons, heavy weapons, proficiencies. Blueprints. Level 1 health. Stat points 0. Okay, so you can increase it. Colony. Okay, structures. We've got a lot of stuff. Holy crap, we can make habitat, airlock, barracks, biodome, hallway. Dude, so many things. We can make furniture, bed, storage locker, all kinds of stuff. Um, okay, let's see. Does it? I mean... Very nutritious food to replenish hunger can be eaten while equipped or straight from storage. Let's just eat one. The, oh, right here. I think this went up, didn't it? Okay. We're good. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, click that thumbs up button below. Feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. God bless. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm so excited.